going to rejoice and we are going we're going to be glad there and thank God for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord um, praying for all those that are with us on this evening those that will um, jump in uh, Sister Clark if you can go on my and add some little post-it notes if you don't mind bring that for me if you don't mind it is a beautiful day to be in um, the presence of the Lord and to be a part of um, Bible class. I heard that they did a wonderful job <clears throat> on uh, Monday with the women's ministry. Wow. And I heard that uh, many prizes were given out. I didn't get none. I guess I got to talk to Deacon Allen and make sure we get some prizes on Mon Monday, Man Cave Monday. Amen. I want to win something. <laughs> Amen. I just want to spend a few moments um, in prayer. And um, not only in prayer, but a time of um, devotion that we may be able to prepare ourselves for the word of God on tonight. Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God who died for me, who extended endless mercies. Daily I shall worship thee. Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God who I got a bad echo here, so die for me, who extended endless mercy. Daily I shall, it's terrible, so Worship thee, Lamb of God, who died for me, who extended endless mercy. Daily I
He knows my every fall. He sees each tear that falls, and he hears me when I call. I know it is, and he hears me. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your long suffering on today. We thank you for everything that you are and everything you shall be for us. Thank you for the ways you made, the doors you open. Thank you, God, for all that you have done for us. Oh, God, if it wasn't for you, we don't know where we would be. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift you up. <clears throat> we glorify your name. We magnify your name. God, we've been through life's ups and downs, but God, thank you for through it all we've learned to trust and depend on you. Father, we have gone through life's challenges, and uh, we have been mishandled, and people have not handled us correctly in the time of our distress. But on tonight, God, um, I pray that you would help us not only to treat others well, but how how to even respond to those that um, treat us inappropriately. And God, we thank you for it. And we give you glory, we give you honor. And God, on today, we give you praise in Jesus' name. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. All over the room. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve.
great time, a great time. Um, and uh, um, reading. Really, let's go to the book of Job chapter number 15. I gotta move swiftly now. Um, Job chapter number 15, when you have it, say amen. Good to see, I, I was trying to call brother. Uh, Kim, good to see his face on this morning. Evening. All right. All right. Let me know if we all good. I, I, I had, I had a, a, a deep, a deep problem with uh, this lesson. I, I hope I'm not by myself, but. Um, I, I, I kind of want to steer into one direction uh, about um, uh, a graceless word. That, that, that right there got me, and I want to talk about that on this evening. Amen. Y'all still with me on today? Amen. We'll talk about this graceless words, graceless words, that we have Job in a situation. Um, let, let, let's go ahead and be reminded that we have Job in a situation to where uh, he was struggling. He was struggling. Um, and not only was he struggling, he was going through quite a bit. Um, uh, uh, let's cut it off and start over, son. I, I'm, I'm ready to teach. If we still have this echo. Let's cut the live off. Let's, let's come on. Let's move it. Amen. Let's move it. Let's cut everything off. Let's start over. If it boosts everybody out, we'll log back in. Amen. We're not going to delete the uh, the live book, and we'll start over. Amen. We're going to start off teaching. This. Um, do we have to drop everyone off of uh, Zoom? No. No. Sister Felicia says it's better now. I don't know what you just did. Are we good? Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody else tell me it's good. All right. All right. All right. Whatever you did, it worked. <clears throat> um, I, I need somebody um, to un understand this uh, graceless uh, words. Graceless words. I want to stick with that um, for the next 40, 45 minutes. Um, dealing with this graceless words. Um, Everybody talking about grace. This is right out of the book. Ain't 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 going there either. Funny, isn't it? Everywhere we turn, we hear about grace, but most folks wouldn't know grace if it smacked them in the face, met them face to face. Most people aren't ready to accept it, even when it's presented to them. Now, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to uh, get us to a place real quick. That we understand that we are all recipients of grace. Y'all still with me? That that we are all recipients of, of grace. Y'all got that? Some, somebody that's taking notes, write that down. We're all recipients of grace. And because we are recipients of grace, we ought to all be at the place that we show grace, that we express grace. Amen. Come on now, don't, 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 don't leave me hanging now. That we have to get to the place to where we are expressing and showing forth grace. Now, y'all like to hear that scripture, to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, um, and, I, 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 and I know that I may be doing some eisegeting right now, but if, if you've gotten much grace, you ought to extend much grace. If you forgiven if, if you've been forgiven for a lot, then you ought to forgive a lot. Amen. Amen. That's just true. I think that sometimes we have literally gotten to the place to where we have forgotten what people have done for us. Uh, no, I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we go jump right back into chapter number 15. Um, um, we go jump right back to uh, chapter 15 of Job. And we go right into it. Um, uh, Eliphaz throws more verbal punches in the first round uh, uh, of his second cycle. They are nothing more 
than graceless words for a grieving man. Watch what he says in verse number two. Should a wise man answer with windy knowledge and fill himself with the east wind? The word himself is really belly in the Hebrew. Should a wise man, Eliphaz of course, fill his belly with a lot of wind. Eliphaz pride is followed by insult, still referring to himself. He says, should we argue with useless talk or with words which are, uh, are not profitable? Indeed, you do away with reverence and hinder meditation before God. Watch this. Then he, there's the guilt. For your guilt teaches your mouth, and you choose the language of crafty. Come on. Then he goes in verse number six. Your own mouth condemns you, and not I, and your own lips testify against you. Verse seven and verse nine. Here comes the condemnation. Were you the first man to be born? He's being condescending. He is being uh, sarcastic. Or were you brought forth before the hills? Do you hear secret counsel of God and limit wisdom to yourself? What do you know that we do not know? One thing he, uh, I, I don't, let me, let me not do that. Uh, I, I got happy right there. What do you understand that we do not? Here we find a man, I don't want, I don't want us to forget this, my brothers and my sisters, that here we find a man that's in the midst of grief, pain, come on, he is confused, huh? I wish I had time. Mm -hmm. If you look, if you read the book, if you read the book, what, what's, what's the four D's that they, that, that they mention about him? Because I don't have time to get there, I got to get to where I got to get. What's the four D's that they mention? Who, who can tell me quickly? Disgusted. Disgusted. Distressed. Distressed. Depressed. Depressed. Despondent. Despondent. Those, those for, for, for those that didn't that, that, that didn't read the book, you got to read that because um, I, 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 I'm really trying to get to two areas today, and I'm done. You got you, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dive into the book on today. There's two areas that I want to dive into, but he said he was disgusted. <laughs> Uh, he was distressed, he was depressed, and he was he was he was despondent. Now you got to understand this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read just a little bit from each one. Uh, uh, he was disgusted. First of all, uh, 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 first of all, Job is downright disgusted with Eliphaz, and rightly so. He chooses not to sit there and take another punch in the face by this insulting proud man. Job's self-respect steps up in the in spades. Sorry comforters. Watch what he says in verse 16 too. You sorry comforters. The, the reason why you came here was to help me and you're not doing so. You sorry comforters. Talk about an oxymoron. Come on. That he is he is disgusted. He is disgusted and, 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 and we as believers ought to be disgusted. I'm sorry, but I think, uh, 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 Groom, that sometimes when we actually begin to look at it, that when we see certain things, we have the wrong response to. Some things ought to disgust us. Come on, Sister Gabby. Sometimes Sister Gabby, somebody falls, and she be trying her best to hold that laugh. She be trying her best to hold that laugh. That's not the time you laugh. You're supposed to laugh uh, the next day, you know, when you make sure they okay. You ain't supposed to laugh in their face. Wow. Am I lying? Why are y'all looking at me like that? You know, some some stuff just, just you know, it's the wrong time. But when you see uh, 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 people fighting and a man being demeaning to a woman, I don't know how y'all watch some of these shows that we watch. I, 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 I can't stand to see no man just keep on calling no woman out of her name. Come on, it ought to disgust us. We ought, we ought to be disgusted by, by, by injustice. See, we have the wrong response. We, sometimes when we see certain things, we have the wrong response. Response. Well, I was—I I don't know if I told you this story. I was in—I was in uh, 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 New York City. I was preaching for Bishop uh, Butler, 
uh, Bishop Tyrone Butler, and uh, I went down, uh, was in his convocation. I spoke that Sunday morning, and um, and uh, Friday night we went out to eat, and we was in we was in the Bronx, and I thought it was you know a, a nice uh, neighborhood. It, it reminded me of like a a, a, a bigger Elmwood. You know, there were restaurants, bars, head, people walking, you know, that type of area. Allen Street, you know, uh, uh, eateries and shops are still open. People, you know, walking to and fro. And um, we had got done eating and we were standing outside for a minute. And uh, I saw, uh, and he saw, and I saw uh, 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 across the street this, this man, this woman arguing. He was calling her all kinds of names. And I looked at it, I said, that doesn't make no sense. I said, all right. Uh, Bishop, uh, um, um, I, I'll call you and let you know when I get to my hotel. He says, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, Chef, hold on, Chef. I said, what, 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 what are we doing? What, what we doing? He said, uh, I just want to make sure you don't put his hands on me. If she wrong, she wrong for what she's doing. But he better not put her hand, his hands on me. Now, now, Bishop got his gold chain on, he got his bishop ring on. I'm like, um, all right, well. <laughs> He grew up in New York, he ready, he ready to go, so if he ready, I'm ready. Watch this, because he had a different response to what was going on. Too many times, we as believers, Job sat here and it was happening to him. Now, I want y'all to catch this. Sometimes, when stuff is happening to you, you even have the wrong response. I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Sometimes, you, when people are mistreating you, Come on, let me talk a little bit. When people are, are being disrespectful, I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry, bro. You, you have the wrong response. Job, Job was, Job got disgusted. How many people know there's been times in your immaturity, come on, come on, in your immaturity that we've gotten to the place to where we have the wrong response? We allow people to get away with stuff. We allow people to say stuff. We allow people to use us. Never forget. You, you, I ain't got time. Uh, you know, oh, Jesus, y'all looking at me funny. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. So he was disgusted. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not only was he disgusted, uh, 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 uh. Let, let, let me read this. Lord Jesus, I, I, I got to get to my notes. Lord Jesus, do I have a few more minutes to get in this book? Lord Jesus, my time almost up. Watch this. It says in, in, in a few paragraphs down, before we get to the, uh, he's disgusted. It says, speaking the truth cuts through the fuzzy, vague, feel-good verbiage, watch this, that often characterize a lot of religious cliches. That's why I, I, I urge, uh, argue with such passion that we learn how to speak truth, ideally in love. So you can, you can be disgusted and respond to someone and still have the right spirit when you respond. Mr. Candy shook her head again. Yeah, I know she, she in the house. No, come on, y'all. Yeah, I have to respond, but there's a way that I, I'm going to respond. If, if someone's disrespectful to you, you being disrespectful to them is not helpful. Amen. Oh, God. He, he's, he's distressed. Someone that's, 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 that, that has your book, you can put the pages in the chat right there. Um, He's in distress, because my book tells me uh, I'm, I'm, I have an online book. Um, Sister Katrina says 136. He said he's distressed. Job is not only disgusted with uh, Eliphaz, he is distressed over God's apparent absence and, and very obvious silence. That, 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 that may sound shocking to some who read those words, but it happens especially among those who are hurting. How many people have ever felt? Come on, if you look at some of the Psalms, you look at the Psalms of lament. Look at them lament. God, where are you? We're not going to sit here and act like we ain't never been to a place to where we ask God, where are you? 
Am I lying? I can't be by myself on a day. We're going to be at the place to where we recognize, watch this, watch this, my brothers and sisters, that we can be honest with ourselves, our feelings and our emotions, and we can be honest with God. Come on. And watch this. The same way I tell you, you're going to respond to people with respectfully, you're going to respond to God respectfully. Yes, sir. All right? Am I making sense on tonight? Yes, All right. Let, let, I, I'm trying to move quickly. Uh, 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 he, he goes on. You have to read this. You got to, oh, my God. Uh, uh, if you if you find fault with Job, it's because you've never been there. There there's not a counselor who has been in that kind of work very long before she or he meets up with someone who is distressed over the way God has treated them. And that is watch this, watch this, please. Someone write this down. That is their perspective that God did. Hear what nobody said. God didn't take my, my, my mama. Now watch this. They don't get mad at me. They don't get mad at me. There's a false theology that 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 your loved ones are your angels. There's no Bible to support that. It makes us feel good. There's a lot of things that we do that make I'm in the wrong church. And, 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 and I'm gonna get there in a minute, but here, here's that thing that I couldn't stand when 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 my niece, my, my mama, my daddy, my brother, my grandmother, I've had aunts, I wish I had a real church in here. I've had people to pass, and someone said, Well, God needed them best. God needed them more in heaven. I'm like, sometimes we try to say things to kind of, kind of come off as we're being deep or spiritual. And it really, what, what do you, now, watch this, the perspective that you leave people with is that God took them. Yeah. Uh -huh. And now their anger is now turned towards God. Yeah. And it gives them a perspective that God did this. And whether you believe it or not, this is the perspective that Job's friends are leaving with Job. That God did this. And not only did God do it, but he did it because you did something. Uh -huh. sin, sir. Huh? Come on. Are y'all still with me? Yes, I wish I had more time. Watch this. I can hear uh, Shamika saying, you got time, Shep. You got time. Watch this. He's despondent. Come on. Come on. He is despondent. We could call the following words. Watch this. Watch this. Job chapter number 17, verse 11 through 16 in the Message Bible. Uh, uh, read it, Sister Katrina. My life's about over. All my plans. Use your mic, baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My life's about over. All my plans are smashed. Mm -hmm. All my hopes are snuffed out. My hope that night will turn into day. My hope that dawn was about to break. If all I have to look forward to is a home in the graveyard. If my only hope for comfort is a well-built coffin. If a family reunion means going six feet under and the only family that shows up is worms, do you call that hope? Who on earth could find any hope in that? No, if hope and I are to be buried together, I suppose you all come to the devil's funeral. Now watch this. He, 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 forget it. <laughs> He's done. And nobody really want to be honest and say that. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Is that there's been times in our lives that we literally have been done. When, when one thing after another is bothering us, is hurting us, we're going through one thing after another, don't lie tonight and say that you didn't feel some type of way. Come on, I'm in the wrong church on tonight. That sometimes when you went through life's ups and downs, that you felt some type of way. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. I'm, 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 I'm going to get out of here. Watch this. 
So, so, so what did Job need? What he actually needed, the people that was around him was enabled, uh, 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 didn't have the capacity to give him. What he needed in his grief was some grace. Yeah. Grace, if you want to be honest, is all around us. Our jobs sometimes have a grace period. You're supposed to be there at 7 o'clock, but they'll give you 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of grace. If you have a loan, they'll give you grace. Your, 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 my, 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 my car note is due on the 14th, but they give me to the 24th. <coughs> they give me some right, right. a grace period. And how is it that those that have received grace, sit down, son, those that have received grace, never give it? Come on. You want everybody to speak to you with, with grace dripping from your lips. Come on. Dripping from their lips. But when it comes to how you treat people, you, 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 you are judgmental. I'm in the wrong God. church. Come on. You know, you know what most people, what, what most people have said about us is? I'm talking about the body of Christ. And guess what? You can say that ain't me all you want to, but they love all of us in there. That we are judgmental and hypocritical. That we don't know how to talk to people. That we are not kind. When the Bible says that this, by this sign, shall men know that you are my disciples, that you have loved one to another. Am I by myself on tonight? That's what it says. So how in the world are we supposed to be the ones that express love and grace and kindness because grace and love and kindness was expressed to us, but people can't see it from the body. Oh my God. And don't tell me, come on, don't tell me we, we growing and we listen, when are we gonna grow up? Somebody need grace. They're already going through a hard time. They're already down. They're already depressed. They're already feeling bad. Come on, Chad. I don't care what nobody said. I've been pastoring 17 years, and Shamika, not one time have I ever made a young lady get in front of this church and apologize for having a child out of wedlock. Not one time. She don't need that. She need grace. I was told I've had people come and tell me off because I didn't sit the person down that was pregnant. That they were still able to, to sing in the choir because the old church said, sat them down. They said I was wrong. You supposed, don't tell me what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to show grace. They already feel bad. They don't want to come to church. But well, how many people will extend grace? My God. They've already had to deal with the mind-boggling situation of telling their parents. Come on. I don't care what nobody tells. Very true. You don't know what stress a child that is is is. is I know a young lady right now, 25 years old, was going crazy because she had to tell her mother and father she was having a baby. She was 25. My God. Her own car, her own place of living, paid her own bills, and was still stressing. Can you imagine what our 16 and 17 year old young girls are going through psychologically and then to have the church not show grace? We don't show grace to the cheater, the one that cheated on their wife, the one that cheated on their husband. Guess what we do? We actually do not show grace. You know what we call him? 20 years later, he a cheater. She a cheater. What do we call liars? 20, ain't nothing but a liar. They ain't gonna never change. Well, didn't the same God, didn't the same God that came into your life 
came and changed you, came and washed you over, come on, made you brand new, come on, you used to be something, but yet we were once, were some of you, but you were washed. Why are we unable to show grace? When we all have sin. I'm sorry, I'm yelling at oh, oh, Jesus. When we all have, when we all have sin and come short of his glory, we we all, not y'all. Right, because that's the Bible. We all have sin and come short of his glory. So I'm still trying to figure out that how we are in this place to where we look at somebody else and turn our nose when we've been in the same place. Come on, Jeff. And yes, I'm talking to you, the, the one that had the miscarriage. Guess what? You still was having a baby. Yes, sir. Yes, the one that had an abortion. Yeah, I'm looking right at you. Guess what, baby? Guess what? You don't, you don't get no pass at because you didn't get caught out. People didn't know your information. find a man that's disgusted, he's distressed, he's depressed, you, you go through something, and then you don't feel God's presence. Listen here. I felt you on the other day, on yesterday. You know why you was playing? I told you it's going to be healing in your place. Right, 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 right while you worship. God will change your countenance in your worship. Yes, he will. How many people have been in the house of God and the presence of God came in and lifted burdens? I mean, you could just literally feel yourself getting lighter. You felt like, you know, that thing was there. It was present with me when I came. But I came, I came into his his presence. Yes, huh? Mm -hmm. The problem is, are we carriers of grace? Oh, God. Yeah. Are, are we carriers of of gloom and doom and, and judgmental and, 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 and hypocrisy. What what are we carrying? I wish I had somebody be honest. Come on, come on, Evangelist Wilder. What what are we what are we carrying? Why haven't we forgiven the one? Come, I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on, come on. So so we're at this place, whether we miss or not, that 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 um uh, we have to be careful. Watch this. The first thing is we have to really be careful of 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 uh, Jesus. How how we deal how we deal uh, with the person. How how would y'all say that Job handled himself? Come on, y'all talk to me. Y'all read. How would you say Job? Handled himself. I don't hear nobody talking to me. How, how would you say Job handled himself? Okay. Because I would have smacked somebody. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. I'm about to play some out of punch. Evangelist Wyden. Would you want to say something, Evangelist? Oh, does she freeze on me? Let me see here. Uh, with love, grace, compassion. All right. All right. Anyone else? Love, grace, compassion is what Evangelist Whiteman said. Beautiful. Now watch this. How do you respond? How do you respond? Come on, let's be honest. How do you respond? Watch this when you when you are under attack. Can, can, can I tell you something? Uh, 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 we have to learn to show grace. Let me get to, I'm, I'm going to get to that in a second. But, but, but uh, uh, about how we respond. But, 
But we have to learn when people are down, it takes some. I, am I on Facebook Live? Oh, Jesus. Let me watch my words. Uh, help me, baby. Uh, cause I, well, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Y'all, y'all bleep it out. You got to be some type of sucker. And, that, and, that, and that's a nice way to say it. Um, to, to kick somebody when they die. Come on, Jack. That's for sure. You, 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 you have lost all moral authority. You, 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 you don't have the spirit of God that when someone is, is down, you, you kick them. I'm sorry. That's true. And when someone is depressed, when someone is hurting, you have to learn to watch your words, Christian. Amen. You're supposed to be a Christ follower, and that is not how Christ would have handled that situation. Y'all bring back what would Jesus do? Come on. Huh? I, I, that's all I'm trying to get us to understand. Sister Laurie says, I'm still growing in that area, but I'm learning how to think before that, and that's good. You got to think before I react. But show them grace and compassion in the time of conflict, and and, can, can tell, can, and not stoop to their level. Can I tell you something? Um, when you allow them to affect you and you respond in that manner, can I can I tell you what you become? You become them. Mika says she pulled away. You become them. I don't like that person, how they treat people and how they talk to people. And then somebody do something. And you, you, you respond, watch it, because you feel like if they're here, then you got to counteract higher. No. Let me tell you something. I'm not saying that you're a doormat. I'm not saying. We already talked that a couple of weeks ago. You're not a doormat. You're not something that somebody's supposed to walk over. You're not a punk. Just because you have the passion of Christ on the inside don't make you a punk. Come on. Don't make you a pansy. But at the same time, you can have compassion. Watch this. Even when they're, because watch this. You got to have discernment to see there's something going on in their spirit. They're all. I wish the saints would pray. Oh, God, I feel like praying right now. Jesus. That we need to pray because we need discernment to recognize when people, watch this, are being, 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 being uh, possessed, controlled, or influenced by another spirit. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. I got 15 minutes. Lord, Jesus. Watch this. You, you got to learn to, to be an example of grace with your words. Come on, Jack. You, sh you should use words that's kind and loving, understanding. I wish I had a real church in here. Huh? When you see someone that was in Job's condition, what they should have did was came in looking for how they can assist what needs do they need? You see a person that's down. You see a person that's hurting. Your first response shouldn't be judgmental. It shouldn't be, watch this, beating them down. It should be, how can I help them? How can I encourage them? Am I by myself on this? Jesus. The smallest action can, 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 can shift somebody's mindset. The smallest uh, uh, kind word can shift somebody's thought pattern. Come on. Come on I know I'm telling the truth. You've been criticized? Have you been hurt? Have you been talked about? Have you been misunderstood? Can you still respond with grace? Man, I'm But you didn't hear what they said, Chef. We ain't, we, we will never be, we will never be judged on what people said to us. Come on. But we shall be judged with how uh, 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 or what we say and do to others. 
Amen? Amen. Watch this. I got to keep going. Uh, uh, don't you know that sometimes this is what his, his friends should have did? They should have just had the, the presence of grace. That's what COVID has stopped us from being able to do. It's just being able to be present. You, there's ways that you can show forth grace. You, you have to, you have to have, you have to show forth grace and be an example of grace, even how you forget. Come on, I gotta move fast, but I'm trying to get, I'm trying to. You know. <clears throat> when someone asks you for forgiveness, you ought to accept that. Watch this graciously. I'm going to forgive you this time. Lord. Don't let it happen again. What if God, oh, help me, Holy Ghost, had ever said those things to us? What if God said, why, Kim, don't let it happen again. Don't come to me no more with that same issue. Oh, God. You bet I ever come to me again with that same problem. You bet I never come to me again with that same slip up. You bet I never come to me and ask me forgiveness again. What if God treated us the way we are so quick? Why is it so easy My God. for us to treat people that way? I'm in the wrong church on tonight. I know. We 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 have to we have to we have to we have to. Uh, uh, also be willing to say I'm sorry ourselves. And, and if you like some people I know that say, I can't say I'm sorry and say I apologize. Because right. we be in our feelings. I know you're telling the truth. Huh? When you make a mistake, swallow up your pride and, and say I'm sorry. You said something wrong. Say I'm sorry. You treated somebody badly. Say I'm sorry. I knew Sister Gabby was coming. <laughs> she don't want to say I'm sorry, and she don't want to say uh, I apologize. My Lord. Just say my bad. No. No. Even if, I take that back. Even if you're going to say, my bad, you are still give a proper way of saying, my bad, I shouldn't have. Right. My bad, I'm sorry. My bad, I shouldn't ate that Reese cup. I, I knew it wasn't mine. I'm in the wrong church. Here, here's something that, 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 that most of y'all won't, 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 won't. Uh, agree strongly with. We gotta learn not to keep receipts. We, we we can't be in a place to where somebody gotta gotta say I'm sorry for the same thing over and over again. You have to learn to let those things go. Amen. They still apologizing for what they did. In 2003, hmm. I wish I had a real church. When you when you when, when, when you need to make an apology, do it quickly. When someone has apologized to you, let it go quickly. Matter of fact, here, 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 here's something that most people don't like. When someone offends you, watch this. Ask yourself why I got offended. Because we can't go around here with, with a chip on our shoulder and every time someone say, look, touch, wink, then we, 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 we are... <clears throat> Am I lying in here? Yes, sir. See, we have to get to the place to where we watch our language. Huh? We have to get to the place to where we, long, we, we, we watch our language. Hug it, yeah, hug it out. Not in the coronavirus. Get some my saw first. <laughs> we like to tell people just don't feel bad. It must have been God's will. 
We also have to watch our expectations. That's good, yeah. We have to watch our expectations. Sometimes, yeah, I think sometimes we just want people to kiss. Um, you kiss where the sun ain't supposed to shine. We got to be careful of our language. Yes. Don't feel bad. It must have been God's will. It's your fault. You should have. Here, here's one that killed me. I know how you feel. I'm at my mama's funeral. Y'all forgive me. I'm not trying to have no mommy moments. I'm at my mother's funeral. Somebody walk up to me and says, I know how you feel. I'm sad where you have to sit right now. How did you sit where I'm sitting and both your parents is still alive? You have not sat where I'm sitting. Sometimes, I'll be honest with you, and this is the thing that people got to understand, is that sometimes when people are going through, what's the number one thing we say? I don't know what to say. That's why you can have, you can show forth grace just by your presence. Go around and tell me, take time. You, you, don't tell people that you're there and you're not there. I know that's right. Don't, don't tell people, don't tell people, uh, uh, call me for whatever you need. You got to be very careful because somebody's crazy enough to call you for some crazy needs. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with saying that. I'm not trying to throw off on nobody. Somebody uh, asked me if uh, uh, needed a favor on yesterday. I worked a double. Somebody said, you worked a double? Yes. I put in 10 hours at my job, then I was at the church all day. That's a double. I worked two jobs. Yes, I know. came from, 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 from work, from working uh, uh, 11 hours. Mm -hmm. Working 11 hours. Went to uh, work at the church, and then when I... Uh, got home, it had to be about 3, 3.30 by the time I got home and I received uh, a, a text message, I need a favor. I'm sorry, I just worked a double and I have to go get some sleep so I go back to work. My God. I would have been no good. We would have both been in the ditch somewhere. I'll send you $10 to, to get a Uber. <laughs> but we have to be careful. And, and that goes right back to what Sister Gabby was saying a few moments ago, is that some people, you've got to be careful of your expectations. Some people really expect certain people to say yes for everything. That's for sure. That's for sure. I can't be at your beck and call. Not at all. Not when I, I work at the church. I work at a, 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 a secular job. I have a wife and family. Huh? We have to watch what we say. Am I making sense on today? Yes, you are, sir. We have to make sure that even when we're under attack, we have to watch how we are responding. Are you responding in grace? Mm -hmm. You got attacked. Can I be honest with you? I do. Am I looking right at the camera? I think so. I don't always respond correctly. Come on, Jeff. Forgive Tell me now you. for the stupid things I'll say in the future. Forgive me now. <laughs> for, just forgive me now for the, for the stupidity I'm going to say tomorrow, Lord Jesus, help me. A woman walked up to me and my wife because someone in their family was up in eight. Matter of fact, they were older than us when they had uh, a child. And uh, we were walking into a dinner, this is a couple of years ago, and uh, you know, some of the old church mothers think they can just say whatever they want. Whatever they want. And so she says, you know, they had a, a, a baby, they were up in age. Uh, when you gonna have a baby? I said, and I, I, didn't, I didn't whisper, I said, uh, mother, I have as much sex with my wife as I can, and I hope to get some tonight, and I'll let you know if it works. I mean, I don't know what you, what I, <laughs> Now, my wife was, was kind of, uh, <laughs> I think I caught my wife 
off guard by my response. But, but you know, when, when, when I, 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 oh Jesus, but I just didn't know how, how much, you know, I just, sometimes I just fly and I shut people up. But maybe, I ain't gonna say maybe, there was a better way I could have said that. My wife shaking her head, amen. But that felt so good. Can I tell y'all something? Every answer that feels good at that moment, how many of y'all said something at the moment that when you spend time with God and you started praying and you was reading your word and he was like, dang. <laughs> yes, sir. I could have said that a lot better. Lord, forgive me. Father, oh, Father God, I'm in the wrong church on today. I just, I just don't think that we get it sometimes is that we have to be careful how we respond. But you didn't hear what they said. But you have to be careful about how you respond. Yes, yes. Job was frustrated. Job was done. Job was irritated. I know I'm telling the truth tonight. But Job made sure to the best of his ability, that he was, he stood up for himself, but he did it in a certain way. Uh -huh. Can I tell you something? Somebody write these little nuggets that the Lord gave me. People are not our projects. I know that's right, Dad. Treat people like people. I really believe that the problem that the friends had, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch this thing. The problem that the, the that the friends had is that they were trying to make Joel believe what they believe. And they be, he became he, he stopped becoming a person, a friend, and he became a project. Mm -hmm. We're trying to change his mind. I'm in the wrong church on the day. You, 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 can't, you cannot go around treating people like projects. Come on, you can't build a husband. Not you can't build a wife. And you can't build a friend. Lord knows you can't build a family. I'm going to take out this eye and I'm, I'm going to draft this eye. Then you can't, they, they yours. I'm in the wrong place tonight. People are not our projects. And we need to get to the place that we treat people like people and not our little pet projects. They are not a hobby. The problem is, are you really praying for people are you, or are you praying on people? The problem here, and I'm done, the problem here is that um, if you really begin to look at it, I wish I had some more time. If you really begin to look at it, that uh, we in general are more condemning than compassionate. Come on, Chef. Definitely. We're more condemning than we are compassionate. People should not feel condemned in your presence. Somebody get me Romans chapter number uh, seven. Get it for me in the uh, message Bible. Start around verse, oh God, uh, tr try 24. Let me see what 24 says. Who moving swiftly? Romans 7 and Romans chapter 7. Go ahead. I tried everything and nothing helped. I, I tried everything and nothing helped. I'm at the end of my rope. I'm at, I'm at the end of my rope. Is there no one who can do anything for me? Is there no one that can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? Isn't that the real question? The answer uh -huh. is 25. Thank God. Thank God. Is that Jesus Christ can and does. Wait a second. Jump up to verse... 
I, I, I know my time is up. If y'all give me a couple of minutes, uh, run up to about uh, verse 21. What does it say? I want to get to that point, the good that I would. It might be 18. It happens so regularly. Check it. Verse 18? 21. 21. Read. It happens so regularly. Oh, go ahead and read 20 while you're at it. Read the whole next thing. It starts with something. Yeah, go ahead. Do I got a couple minutes? Sure, yes, sure. But I need something more. But I need something more. For if I know the law, but can't, but still can't keep it. I, I know the law, but still can't keep it. See, they trying to, they trying to say to Job that he didn't keep the law. And if the power of sin within me keeps sabotaging my best intentions. And if the power of sin keeps sabotaging my best intentions. I obviously need help. Can, can we all get to the place to, to say this? That we all need help? Mm -hmm. Ain't now one of us perfect? Not at all. That we all need to be at the place to where, watch this, watch this. We need to be surrendering our, our will and even our behavior to the will of God. Amen. This, is, this, is, this, is, this might be a hard pill to swallow, but everything about us ain't perfect. Come on, Shaq. And we're going to have to get to the place, watch this, that even if Job had sinned, even if Job had sinned, this was not the method for conversion. This was not the method to, to, for him to ask God to forgive him. I, I, I had to come to grips that, that, that uh, uh, one of my family members just ain't coming to church. And I couldn't, I couldn't say uh, Sunday afternoon when I know they're off for of work. Why I didn't just call and ask if they want to go to dinner? Because just because they didn't come to church don't mean they they not family. They can't come to dinner. Y'all looking at me funny? As if because they didn't come to church, they can't they can't be invited to dinner. Well, if you and I said it. If you came to church, you know what the evil is, because you know where it was going. Was that the proper way? No! And how many times do we think we're doing something that is supposed to be helpful and we're only causing more damage? Nobody want to be honest. Nobody want to be honest. What was I going to do? Make them come to church? Force them to come to church? Huh? I wasn't showing for grace. Even if I know of sin in the person's life, guess what? It's not for me. I have to still be careful with how I handle their situation. There ain't too many of us that are at the place to where we can walk into every situation and say the right things. So then I'm driving family away because I'm putting our connection with family with our connection with the church. And there's still two different bloods. There's a blood family that's in the lineage. And so the blood family that flows from, oh God, the oh, side of Jesus. Watch it, it's, 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 so I, I don't care if, 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 they're not, if they're not connected to me through Calvary. They're connected still to me through blood. Right. But how I treat them whether you believe it or not, some family member think that we are better than they because we go to church and we end up using graceless words. Yes, sir. 
I ain't know the family was getting together on Sunday uh, 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 to have dinner. Well, if you came to church, you'd know. How you think that's supposed to make people feel? Now, I'll be honest with you, I ain't going around calling everybody every time I get together. Some people think I'm supposed to call them every time I go out to dinner. They get offended if I take my wife out to dinner. I went to Alton one time, D.C., and it was just me and my wife. They asked me, uh, how many? Just us two. No, no, seriously, how many? <laughs> it wasn't 10 of us that time. They, they didn't know what to do. They, they saw my fat butt and said, cha-ching. They said, oh, just y'all too. I don't hear nobody talking to me. My wife has to come to me with grace, graceful words. That I don't want to always go out to dinner with everybody. Sometimes I want to eat with my husband. You mean to tell me you don't want to go out to eat with your Felicia? What? You don't want Watch this. She spoke with grace. You can get more with graceful words than you can get with graceless words. Can I share something with y'all? Y'all don't have to like this, but some people say, I've been telling them the same thing over and over again. Ask yourself, have you been saying it with grace? Because sometimes you've been saying the same thing over and over again, but they ain't heard you. Woo-wee, y'all looking at me funny. Yeah. Huh? Last thing. Read. I realize that I don't have what it takes. I don't have what it takes? I can will it. I can I will it, do it, but I can't do it. I decide to do good. I, I decide, you know what? I'm I'm going to stop eating these snacks. I'm going to drink my gallon of water. I'm going to walk for at least a half hour. But I don't really do it. But uh, yeah. I don't really do it. I decide not to do bad. Me, meanwhile, Kim just, we just get swole. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, man. We think that... <laughs> We try. We have come on. Let's be honest. That sometimes we have good days and sometimes we don't. Right. Watch what happens. Read some. My decisions, such as they are, mm -hmm. don't result in action. My decisions don't result in actions. So I make a decision. Watch this with my mouth, but my mind don't follow. Watch this. There'll never be movement with mouth action only. I know that's right, sir. I just said something. I didn't believe it. There'll never be movement. There'll never be motion in mouth action only. What was in your mouth must get to your mind. You can say a thing, but until it gets into your mind and there becomes movement. Did I work them in? Read some. I gotta go. Something has gone wrong deep within me. Something's gone wrong deep within me. And it gets the better of me every time. I wish I had some people that just feel like they'll be honest and say, you know what, I'm broken. Yeah. And watch this. I need grace. I'm standing in a place where I need grace. Come on, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on. I gotta get to eight and one. Come on, it happens. So regularly. So regularly. That it's predictable. It's so predictable. I know I'm gonna fall. Oh, what day is it? Wednesday? Oh, I'm gonna mess up. It's Wednesday. Read, man. I gotta get out of here. The moment I decide to do good. The moment I decide to do good. Sin is there to trip me up. Sin smacks me in the face. I truly delight in God's command. I, I delight in, in, in God's command. I love God. I love to worship. I love to go to church. I love to sing. I love to shout. I love. I love all of it. But. But it's pretty obvious that <laughs> not all of me joins in that delight. It ain't all of us. Man, my mind keeps telling me no. Come on, read. Parts of me covertly rebel. Uh -huh, but my body, come on. Just when I least expected, they 
Just when I least expected, the, watch this, those unconquered areas. My God, teach it. Those unconquered areas, the area that you have not conquered. Watch this, watch this, Elder. There's areas in our life that we haven't conquered that we try to pass over. Those are areas that we keep falling in. When we don't deal with a situation, we don't deal with a problem, those are the areas that we continue to fall in. Now, I can quote you 20 scriptures if I want to, but let me tell you something. Until you get to the place that you conquer those areas in your life, you're in for a headache. If the trigger keep getting you every time, you're in for a headache. The, 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 the devil ain't got to change his tactics. And I know every time I see that, that little uh, hot sign at Krispy Kreme, I'm going to pull over. Then guess what? I'm being defeated. If you know every time you, you, you see a, 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 beautiful, a beautiful lady that... Uh, 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 skin is her is her garment of choice. Lord, that was a good one. That was a good one. T Chef, when, when when skin is her garment of choice, guess what ends up happening? If that thing is a trigger, it's gonna until you take care of that trigger and denounce it and speak on it and pray about it. And, and, and begin to practice. Begin to devote your mind to some to other things. Come on, read, read it, read it. I've tried everything and nothing else. Uh -huh. I'm at the end of my rope. End of my rope. Is there one who can do anything for me? Is there one who can do anything for me? Isn't that the real question? Isn't that the real question? The answer, uh -huh. thank God, Thank God. is that Jesus Christ can and does. Jesus Christ can and does do that for us. You can experience the transformational power of the Holy Spirit in your life. That you begin to see change happening in your life. I wish I had somebody say, I, I, I'm experiencing the transformational power of the Holy Spirit. I am not the same. Huh? Yeah! I know my attitude changing. I know my demeanor's changing. I know my work ethic changing. I know my prayer life is changing. My praise is on another level. My worship has gotten deeper. I'm in the wrong church. And even in those moments, you got to watch the thing that triggered the habit that had been left unchecked. The one thing that's been left unchecked can cause all the good that you've accomplished in God just to unravel. It, 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 give, me, give me eight more. Your, your King James Version says, uh, 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 who shall deliver me in the end of that chapter seven. But verse number eight, uh, chapter number one, one and two, read it something. With the arrival of Jesus. With the arrival of Jesus. The Messiah. Uh huh. The fateful dilemma is resolved. This this dilemma is solved. Come on. Those who enter into Christ's being here for us. Uh huh. No longer have to live under a continuous, low-lying black cloud. Listen, you are not. Watch this. Your King James Version, now therefore no condemnation. Condemnation literally means that someone has condemned you to death. Based upon something you did five years ago. I am no longer under that dark cloud. I am no longer under the pressure of performing for people. I want to get to the place to what you see is what you get. I am a worshiper. I am a prayer warrior. I do believe in God. I'm a praiser. This is who I am. I, 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 I'm an intercessor. I'm an evangelist. I'm a helper. Come on. 
And I never would have gotten there if I didn't learn how to take on all this pain from people and turn that stuff around. I got to go. My time is up. We got to learn how to take the pain. Watch this. Y'all seen Black Panther? Uh, me and my family watched Black Panther the other day. And can I tell you the honest got truth? I love that part when um, um, she says, hit the soup. And, 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 and it absorbed the blood. Said, 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 hit it again. And, and it absorbed the blood. She said, now try hitting it now. And when it hit the suit, it blew him away. Watch this. You have to learn to take what the enemy is throwing at you and make it positive. And begin to tell the devil, you can't have my mind. You can't have my peace. You can't have my praise. You can't have my worship. You can't have my marriage. You can't have my finances. Am I by myself on today? Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. You can't, watch this, we absorb it and hold it in, and then we lash out. No, you got to release that. Turn that negative into a positive. I told you, I don't, I don't accept everything. Is my time up for real quick? Lord Jesus, God forgive me. I'm supposed to be a sad now. Lord Jesus, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He was, he was disgusted. He was distressed. He was, he, was, he was depressed. He was despondent. And then when, when, when God was silent, people were speaking on behalf of God that didn't even know what God was saying. I'm going to tap in. I said it this morning in my, in my prayer. I did a quick live. It was only a few minutes. I did a quick Listen, you got to tap into where you can hear from heaven. Yes. Huh? Lord, I need you to recalibrate my, my ears. I need yes. you to realign my thinking. I want, I want to see and hear you. Amen? Let me stop. I'm done. I love y'all. Come on, elders. Come on, lead us in prayer. Um, we know that uh, for, for those that are watching, that um, you can uh, register for, for service. I'm asking those that have not. Uh, my wife is going to send out a text. I'm asking those that have that have registered and then um, uh, uh, multiple times and didn't show up, that you wait until Saturday at 12 o'clock and see what's available first. Um, some people really do forget. They be, my sister Therese woke up on Sunday morning. No, she was at work. She said, I forgot to register for, for worship. I know that this is new. And so it breaks my heart when I see people that want to come to church and then some of them register. I understand that you're sick. We want you to stay home. But contact uh, Lady J. Let her know. So then when people ask, then we know that um, somebody, um, this seat is now available. Amen? All right. I love you. There's absolutely, positively, nothing you can do about it. Elder uh, uh, Julius Grooms, is, we're, gonna, we're praying for the uh, uh, Deacon Woods family. Amen. Amen. Uh, we were able to minister to them on um, Monday, and we're praying for uh, Elder Groom's family, Amen. his um, stepfather's father, his step grandfather. I don't know how to use those terms. I hope I said that right. Elder uh, will be funeralized on uh, tomorrow at uh, the eleven o'clock hour, and we want to keep that family in prayer. Minister Dana um, and uh, Brother Joe. All right? All right. The elder is coming. Let's say that as he comes. Amen. Let's pray. God, how we love you, how we praise you, how we adore you. There's none like you in all the earth, God. We pray now that you would touch all of those families, God, who are bereaved.
God, that your hand of mercy and peace would rest upon them. God, I ask that you would continue to touch and keep us all. Protect us. Lead us. Guide us. God, continue to direct us in the path that you would have for us to go, God. Continue to purge us of those things that are within us that are not pleasing to you, God. Whatever that is in us that's not like you, God, we pray and ask that you take it away, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to be the bearers of grace. For God, you've been so gracious to us. Help us to be gracious to others. God, I pray and ask that for someone who's feeling despondent, someone who's feeling in distress, God, that you would show up and be their help, that you would be their deliverer, and that you would be their protector. God, we love you and adore you. In Jesus' name, amen.